welcome in everyone, uh, Lufo ELT coming to you with a speaking strategy video. And uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about using the word so in a conversation. So let's just get right into it. So is one of the most frequently used words in the English language. In fact, it's um, in the top 50 uh, most commonly used words in English. So learning this will obviously be very helpful for you to improve your speaking fluency as well as your listening fluency when you understand and when you hear native speakers speaking. Um, so uh, part of the reason so is so popular is because the words can be used in many different ways. So we see here on the screen um, a few examples like we are so happy or so that's about it or so what's your point or so how are you or it is hot outside so all of my plants died okay here we have um, uh, different examples five different examples of uh, the way that so can be used in different ways in conversation and this is the topic for today's speaking strategy video five ways to use the word so in a conversation. I'm going to explain the five different ways and stay tuned till the end. Uh, there's a little quiz, a little challenge at the end of this lesson. Um, so let's get into the first one. So to give the reason for something. You can use so to give the reason for something. You can use so to explain why something happened or why it is true. I already gave this example. It is hot outside, so all of my plants died. Here's another one. I was sick, so I went to the doctor. Uh, he lived in Italy for 10 years, so he can speak Italian well. Uh, she was tired, so she went to bed. So you can see there's kind of cause-effect relationship, and uh, this may be very familiar to you um, using so in this way. Uh, let me explain a few points about this though. When we use so like this, uh, it's very similar to how we use because. Um, it's used to explain cause and effect relationship, but the order is switched um, with um, when we use with so. The cause comes first and the effect comes second. Um, for example, uh, the cause, uh, I was sick and then the effect, so I went to the doctor. Uh, if we use because to explain this, then the effect comes first and then the cause comes next. Uh, I went to the doctor because I was sick. All right, so just understanding that relationship can be helpful. Um, usually when we are using so in this way, uh, it appears in the middle of the sentence and it's almost always used in statements. And also we stress the word so when we're using it in this way, like, for example, she was tired, so she went to bed. And we do that to show the cause and effect relationship. All right, let's move into the second way that so can be used. Uh, it can be used to emphasize something. Uh, we use so to strengthen an adjective or adverb in a sentence. Uh, for example, that song is so great, or thank you so much, or I'm so full, or we are so happy, something like this. Okay, um, a few points about using so to emphasize um, an idea, an adjective or adverb. Um, it's it's a being used as a synonym for the word very. So you could say the song is very great or thank you very much, right? We just replace the word very with so. So that song is so great. Thank you so much. Same thing with uh so and very, they're synonyms. All right, and also it usually appears in the middle of the sentence when we're using it in this way. And you can omit implied parts of a sentence or a phrase. So if we look at the third example here, it's uh, if you're, uh, you just had dinner with everyone, right? And you can say, I'm so full. You don't have to say after that big dinner because everyone understands Right? You guys just ate a meal together, so everyone understands that that's why you're very full. Uh, same thing with uh, the second, uh, I mean, the fourth example here on the screen. We are so happy that you came to visit us. So if, if you are um, visiting maybe your parents or friends that you haven't seen for a while, they might say, we're so happy, right? 
you could say or they could say that you came to visit us, but you don't have to. You can omit these implied parts of the sentences or phrase, which is common knowledge for everybody in the conversation. Okay? Um, and it's not usually used in questions when you're using uh, so to emphasize something. It's almost always used in statements like this. Um, and we stress it hard. Um, when we say like this, like that song is so great, right? We, we stress this word, we linger on this word, um, and we use it to emphasize something. Sometimes people even repeat it, like, thank you so, so much. People, you might hear people say it like that. So it's, it's stressed very hard when we're using it in this way. All right, let's move on to the third way that so is used. Uh, we can use so to introduce a new idea. Uh, to a, or topic to a conversation. So we use so to indicate that a new topic or idea is about to be introduced. Um, for example, so how are you? So I was thinking we should take a trip this weekend or so let me explain the problem or so what do you think about the new movie? All right, so um, a few words about using so to introduce a new topic or idea in the conversation. Um, this word is less synonymous with other words, so it's not really um, a word that has other words that mean or do something similar in a sentence. It's more of a discourse marker, which means it's being used more like a tool than a content word, it's indicating that something is about to happen in the conversation, all right? Um, if you say, so, you, you start the sentence with that. I've already done it a few times just naturally in this video. Then people understand that you're about to introduce a new topic or idea. And it usually appears in the beginning of the sentence when you're using it this way. And it usually appears by itself not with other words, and it's used in statements and questions, as you can see um, on the examples. Um, and the more it's stressed, the more attention is being given to the new topic or idea. So you could say, so how are you? Um, as more of like a smooth transition, or you could say, so how are you? All right, so this means that you just want to give more attention to this new idea or topic that you're, you're giving. Um, all right, and for the fourth way, so is used to clarify an idea. So you can use so to show surprise or to check understanding or both. All right, so we see a few examples here on the screen. So what's your point? Or so are we going or not? Mm, this one's more used for checking understanding. Uh, so you don't want to meet the famous actor? This is used to show surprise because normally if there's a celebrity, famous actor, or singer, people would be excited to meet that person. But you say that you're not, then you are showing that you're surprised about what the person says. Uh, so you're saying you don't like spicy food? This is, again, um, more checking understanding. So, so this one, number four here, is to clarify an idea. Uh, when you use it to show surprise or check understanding, this is almost like two different ways. Um, but uh, let's just give a few comments about this. The tone of your voice depends on the intent. Is your intent to show surprise or is it to check understanding? So this will affect your pronunciation, your intonation, right? So as I mentioned, so are we going or not, right? This is the intonation, the tone of my voice, this is more of checking understanding. Um, and the fourth example, so you don't want to meet the famous actor? Like this, you hear my voice kind of goes up uh, at the end of the question. This is because I'm showing surprise. All right, so the tone of your voice will depend on which one you're using it for. Um, can be used for both. Um, and it usually appears in the beginning of the sentence, and it often appears um, with other words um, just before or just after it. So you can see those examples here on the screen. Um, for example, okay, so what's your point? Or, so, um, are we going or not? Or, oh, 
so you're saying you don't like spicy food? Or wait, so you don't want to meet the famous actor? This one, wait, is very, very commonly used with so when we're uh, showing surprise. Wait, so, or so, wait, like this. Okay, and um, it's always used in statement questions or just questions um, because it's checking understanding. We're asking question here. And it's not really stressed unless we want to show huge misunderstanding or huge surprise or disbelief. Okay, um, and to the last one, to the fifth and last one here uh, for this video, uh, so can be used to close an idea. So we use so to show that we're finished talking about an idea or a topic. Uh, so here's some examples. So that's about it. Or so I'll see you next time. Or, so that's what I think about the new movie. So, my weekend was good. Alright, so here we're closing idea, finishing um, this topic for this conversation. And just a few comments about using so in this way. It usually appears at the beginning of a sentence and often with other words just before or after it. So, for example, yeah, so that's about it. Or, so yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, very, very often we use yeah, so yeah, or yeah, so like this. Um, and it's almost always used in a statement, but sometimes a follow-up question may come right after it. Um, or, or it may sometimes also be used as a statement question, but that's kind of um, a little bit between uh, the fourth way and this fifth way of uh, checking understanding. So it could be like, for example, so I'll see you next weekend then, right? Something like this. That's like a statement question. That's like checking understanding, but it's also kind of closing the conversation. So it's in between four and five. But uh, anyway, most of the time when we're closing an uh, idea or topic in a conversation, we're using this as a statement, all right? And it's not really stressed. Um, we kind of just quickly say it and get through it. Um, as part of the sentence. Again, it's just an indicator, very similar to uh, number three, the way I said we can use it to introduce an idea. Uh, very similar here, number five, it's an indicator that we're closing an idea or a topic in the conversation. All right, so these are five ways to use the word so in a conversation. First, to give the reason for something. Second, to emphasize something. Third, to introduce a new idea. Fourth, to clarify an idea. Fifth, to close an idea. All right, so let's do a little quick quiz here to check your understanding of these different ways. So how is so being used in the following sentence? Yeah, so I mean, it was okay. How about you? All right, so is this being used to start a new topic or idea in the conversation? Uh, is it used to show surprise or check understanding? Or is it being used to close a topic or idea in a conversation? Which one is it? All right, you write down uh, or say your answer and I'm gonna show you the answer right now. All right, it's being used to close a topic or an idea in a conversation. This is someone responding maybe to a question of um, how was your weekend or something like this. They explain, oh, my weekend was okay. I, I, you know, I had dinner with my friends and I saw a movie. Yeah, so I mean, it was okay. How about you? Like this. They're closing out their idea, their topic and opening up the uh, conversation to the other person. Okay, so let's look at another one. How is so being used in the following sentence? So wait, you don't like your boyfriend? Okay, so is that being used to introduce a new topic or idea? Show surprise, check understanding, or close a topic or idea in a conversation? All right, you can write down your answer or say your answer, and I'll show you the answer now. Right, number two. Wait, so you don't like your boyfriend? So wait, you don't like your boyfriend, right? This is um, a little surprising. Usually if someone has a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband or wife, they do like that person, right? Um, so if you say, if someone says that they don't, then it's a little surprising and people may want to double check uh, their understanding of what you're saying there. All right, and the last question, how is so being used in the following sentence? So how was your holiday in Europe? 
all right? Is this being used to start a new topic or introduce a new idea in a conversation to show surprise, check understanding, or is it being used to close a topic or idea in conversation? All right, so you can write down or say your answer now, and here is the answer. Right, it's being used to start a new topic or introduce a new idea into the conversation. So if you know someone had a holiday in Europe and you want to know about it, you want to bring up that topic or idea, you can ask the question like this, okay? Now, um, as I said, so is one of the most commonly used words in English, so... Here, I just want to give you some additional resources. I put a link in the description to Oxford Learner's Dictionary. I'm not affiliated with Oxford in any way. I just think this is a great resource, Oxford Learner's Dictionary. Um, there are other learner's dictionaries online that you can use for free. It's a great resource. You can see all these different ways that so is used and whether it should be used in a formal or informal situation and there are a lot of great tools on here so i'll put the link to that resource in the description you know i love to give you guys resources so here's one um, for free i hope you guys uh, use it well and you're able to learn uh, please if you like this video give me a thumbs up like the video if you uh, have any question about this video or you'd like me to make another video please uh, leave a comment and if you like the content i'm putting out please subscribe to my channel thank you all very much and have a great day